Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your second HTML tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial, we learned how to basically set up an HTML web page uh, using tags and ending tags and stuff like that. And so in this tutorial, um, we're going to learn how to format text. Uh, also remember that in the last tutorial, we learned how to uh, create paragraphs in just plain old text on a screen, as well as a header, uh, which ended up looking like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to make the text bold, italic, and um, all types of other things like that. So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to delete this text that's right here, and we'll add in a new paragraph, and we'll call it paragraph 1. We're going to close our paragraph tag here. So, what you're going to do with paragraph 1, uh, we can make it bold if you want, by going adding a bold tag. Um, and we also have to remember to include a closing bold tag, because if we don't, all the text after paragraph 1 will also be bold, and that's uh, probably not something you're going to want. So if we save this right here, and we go, oops, wrong page, and we go into our, we go into our uh, web page here, we refresh, and you can see that paragraph 1 is bold. We'll add in another paragraph right here. Uh, we'll call this paragraph 2 and we'll compare the difference, save it, and we'll open up our web page here. You'll notice that this one is not bold. And uh, just as an example of what happens if you don't include a closing bold tag, I'll save that. You'll notice that paragraph 2 is also bold. And so will any text that's after it, it will also be bold. So, what we're going to want to do here is uh, I'm going to want to re-add our bold t closing tag. And we'll make paragraph 2 italic, and all you need to do to do that is just add an I. It's uh, very simple. Uh, remember to add your closing I. We'll save, go back into our web page here, and refresh, and you can see that paragraph 2 is italic. Um, another pretty cool one would be strike. So we'll add a paragraph here. Paragraph 3. And we'll add our tags for a strike through, which is... Uh, it's just strike. And at the end, remember, we're going to add our closing tag, which is slash strike. Save it. And we come over here. All you notice the paragraph 3 is crossed out. So, uh, another one that we can use can, is called the strong tag, which is basically similar, similar to bold. So, strong, paragraph, paragraph 4, slash p. Less strong. And um, as you noticed here, I have all my paragraph tags on the inside and my uh, attribute tags on the outside. It doesn't really matter so much what order you have them in, but I just like to keep them in uh, consistent order just to, uh, so everything looks the same. So the strong tag, if we refresh, let me go to our web page here. Oops. Is, um, it it's appears like a bold. So these are some basic formatting uh, tools that you can use to make the text on your web pages look different. Um, in some cases, actually, you'll want to probably combine them, and you can do that too. If you want to have bold and strike through, you can have, we'll say, strike, B, paragraph, and we'll say, crazy text, slash P, slash B. Uh, just remember that the more tags you have, the more closing tags you're going to want to have, so uh, just don't forget to add those in. So we'll go over here to our web page, and you can see that this is bold and uh, strike, strike through. Uh, and just for fun, we'll add an italic as well. And oops, take a look. Now it's bold, italic, and strike through. So this is just um, some basic formatting tools that you can use. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about how to change the color of text, uh, which is really fun to do. And it also helps to spice up your web page. But for this one, just remember that you need to keep your, make sure you include your closing tags. It's very important that you do that. Otherwise, uh, all this text over here would be bold if I didn't include a closing bold tag. So um, again, please feel free to stay tuned to the tutorials to learn some more HTML. Uh, feel free to head on over to technicalcafe.com for more tech news, tips, tricks, and information. And follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Thanks for watching, and please tune in soon.